Hello my dear students I'm here once again to present you a wonderful session on lats and longs I'm happy that you have enjoyed and learned from the first two video sessions your feedback and responses revealed it thank you parents and students let us recollect the topic of our second lesson yes it's latitudes and longitudes children before we start the lesson let's do a warm up shall we do a brain gym to activate your right and left brain exercise number 1 keep your fingers like this follow my instruction carefully 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 Four. Just do it little bit faster. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Exercise number two. Keep your hands like this. Turn your right hand upside down. Press the top and just turn it like this. Do it. One, two, three, four. Do it little bit faster. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This activates your right and left brain as well as it improves your memory power. I think you are all refreshed by this brain gym. So, let's start the lesson with an interesting starter. To twist your tongues, here comes the large and long tongue twister. Flat lines are latitudes, long lines are longitudes. Children, repeat after me. flat lines are latitudes long lines are longitudes 181 latitudes 360 longitudes 181 latitudes 360 longitudes east to west is latitude north to south is longitude east to west is latitude north to south is longitude equator is the important latitude Prime meridian is the important longitude. Equator is the important latitude. Prime meridian is the important longitude. Latitudes are parallels. Longitudes are meridians. Latitudes are parallels. Longitudes are meridians. Each latitude is a circle. Each longitude is a half circle. Each latitude is a circle. Each longitude is a half circle. Latitude never meets longitudes meets at poles. Latitude never meets longitudes meet at poles. So before starting the lesson, I want to give you some instructions. Just follow my instructions carefully, dear. Take any old notebook or old diary. Name it as social notes taking note. From now on, start writing small notes from the video session and whenever you find time you can go through it and register it in your mind for future as these lessons go in detail till your 10th grade so for immersive learning of these topics notes taking is necessary even the previous topics also just click the link once again watch the video and make a note of it Okay now let's go deep into the lesson in the last video session you have learned what latitude is now you are going to learn what longitude is so what's a latitude long lines or longitudes yes long means top to bottom in geographical terms it is from north to south Yes longitudes are also known as meridians it runs in north to south direction and it measures distance east and west of prime meridian it crosses the equator at right angles and all these longitudes are in equal length and it is semicircle longitudes are also numbered as like latitudes so what is zero degree latitude yeah it's equator the same way zero degree longitude is prime meridian this divides the earth into two hemisphere that is eastern hemisphere and the western hemisphere the diagram shows you 
that longitudes are drawn east or west of the prime meridian they are also numbered starting with 0 degree and it ends by 180 degree east or 180 degree west that line 180 degree east or west is called as international date line prime meridian this divides the earth into two halves the same way it passes through a city called greenwich that's in england so now let's move on to the checks for your understanding longitude lines connect the dash pole with the dash pole i think you might have guessed it just pen down your answers in your notebook there are dash degrees of longitudes on both the sides of prime meridian you know already on each side of prime meridian 180 lines and 180 lines so now write down your answers in your notebook take your atlas refer two places that are almost on the prime meridian the same way refer two places that are just west of 150 degree east and west of 120 degree east find out the places and pen down in your notebook what's a grid grid is nothing but the lines of latitude and the lines of longitude criss cross each other and the intersecting place is called as a grid it is used to find out the places easily so to locate a place this grid is very very important longitudes are used to calculate time how do we calculate time using longitudes the sun travels 15 degree of longitudes per hour or 1 degree of longitude in every 4 minutes of time during the rotation of earth it takes 4 minutes of time to move from one line of longitude to the other line it may further be noted that the time decreases when we move from west to east and increases when we move from east to west now let's do the calculation of time with respect to the prime meridian with the following example determine the local time of thimphu that is bhutan located at 90 degree east longitude when the time at greenwich is 12 noon the statement is time increases at a rate of 4 minutes per 1 degree of longitude east of the prime meridian so already it is given that 90 degree so 90 into 4 is 360 minutes so 360 minutes divided by 60 is equal to total hours so totally 6 hours so that is referred to as 6 pm so at bhutan thimphu the time is 6 pm so this is what the calculation is now let us know about the index an index shows the name of the places marked on different pages are mostly at the last page of your atlas in an alphabetical order with certain numbers alongside these numbers indicate the location of a particular place and have a marking of the directions that is north south east west etc if you look at the last page of your atlas that is index page you can see like this for example kolkata 22 degree 24 n and 88 degree 24 e mumbai 19 degree n 22 degree 48 e like this you just refer in your atlas and find it out so children now it's time to play a game atlas hunt it's an interesting game take your atlas sit with your parents or siblings instruct them to take the last page of your atlas that contains index tell them to say the latitude and longitude and you have to find it find out the place using the ruler 
refer page number 99 and 100 in your student atlas example if they say 22 degree 24 n 88 degree 24 e just use your ruler and find out the exact place so the place is kolkata the same way find out all the other places here are some of the latitudes and longitudes find out the places and note it down in your notebook complete the follow up worksheet after watching the video complete the checks for understanding repeat the tongue twister and play the game whenever you find time okay children bye bye thank you